Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to the session on SonarCube. In this session, we are going to look at SonarCube scanner for the Maven. Using the Maven commands, we can analyze the source code of a project. That means Maven, we are going to use as a one of the scanner to analyze the source code of a project. So in order to proceed further, first we need to install the required software. So first, what we need to, uh, first, uh, we need to do is, first we need to download the SonarCube uh, software so you can download the latest uh, uh, latest sonar cube from the sonar cube website here so you can download uh, sonar cube 5.6.1 or any latest uh, or older versions also because i am going with the 5.4.0 version but if you want you can download the latest sonar cube version and then we need you need to install you need to download the maven um, maven latest to maven maven software so from the apache uh, maven.apache.org you can go ahead and download if you scroll down here you can see that uh, binary zip archive here apache hyphen maven hyphen 3.3.9 hyphen bin dot zip so you can download this software but before you download this one make sure that you have an uh, in your computer you have a uh, java version uh, with the latest Java version that is at least it requires a JDK 1.7 or above if you are not using if you are using the lower version of the Java then you need to download lower version of the Apache uh, Maven which is compatible with the lower versions of the Java okay so first you need to download these two softwares and then you can proceed with my um, video because I already downloaded these two softwares in my local and I extracted to uh, this folder, SonarQ folder and uh, these two softwares are av already available. So first you need to download these two softwares and I extract it and then copy to one folder and proceed with this um, tutorial. Okay, so first what we need to do is, first we need to uh, set up the Maven, uh, Maven uh, configuration. What means, what it means is, once you downloaded uh, the Ma once you download the Maven software, then first you need to set up the environment variable to the bin folder. How you can do is copy this uh, path and uh, go to uh, computer, right click on it, properties, and uh, go to the advanced settings and uh, click on environment variables and search for the path click on edit and at the end of the um, end of the uh, line you can copy paste the the whatever the um, uh, path for the maven till the build folder once this is done click ok ok and click ok you can close this uh, window and now what you can do is go to any folder uh, or even from here also uh, open any command prompt and you can see which version of the maven you have installed maven command is mvn space hyphen version so it is going to uh, display with the what is the version just now we have downloaded that is apache maven 3.3.9 and also it is going to provide you the java uh, information also in my computer I have installed the Java 1.8.0 underscore 66 version. So we all set way. Uh, so now we have installed or configured the Maven in our computer. Once this is done, in order to integrate uh, the Sonar Cube scanner with the Maven, what you need to do is go to the bin folder go to the bin here you can see the config uh, config as a one folder go inside of it and right click on this um, settings open any notepad or some editor uh, click on uh, edit it so here you need to enter the two uh, configuration one for the one for the plugin groups here you need to make an this entry by default it will be empty because uh, because previously it will not be any uh, previously it will come a, come as a empty as part of the installation so first what you need to do is you need to make this entry plugin group 
arc dot sonar source dot scanner dot maven what this is going to do is the maven will download the sonar scanner for the uh, maven it is nothing but uh, including a plugin so now what it is going to do is for the maven the sonar scanner plugin will come and this will be taking care of uh, running your uh, project okay. and one more entry we need to provide in the profile session and scroll down and in the profile session if you see here profile section also by default it will come as a empty so in this profile session go to the end and you need to make this entry so profile id is going to be the sonar and activation by default true and properties is going to be the sonar host url sonar host url is nothing but once the sonar scanners run this report will be sent to the sonar queue from where actually you are going to access the report hence what you need to do is here sonar dot host dot url here you can give your host name if you are if you are um, host is in the remote remote server then you can give the remote host url or if it is in your local you can specify local host 9000 so this is the default port where uh, default url where you can uh, run the you can available you can uh, you can get the sonar cube report once this is done now you have configured sonar cube uh, scanner to your maven now next step is you need to create an maven project to analyze the source code for that particular project so what you need to do is go to the eclipse if you already have the uh, uh, maven project then directly you can no need to create this one but just for the demo purpose i am creating a one maven project so click on new others and here you can see maven and select on the maven project go to the next next i am very i am starting with a very basic program so that is the reason i am selecting by default as a maven archetype as a quick start Okay, so group ID I can specify as sonar, and I am specifying here com dot sonar dot maven. The package I just will give as sonar, and just click on finish. This is just for demo purpose, but you already have the uh, you already have the uh, project. Then no need of uh, uh, creating the project again here when i create the quick start application what happens is by default there is a um, one class it will be created that is a app where it is just printing the system dot out dot print ln at the same time you can see in the uh, source test here also you can see the app test with the one test case now what i'm going what we are we are going to do is we are going to analyze the source code of uh, this com dot sonar dot maven project using the uh, sonar scanner as a maven okay so in order to do that first what you need to do is go to this project where you need first you need to go to the path where this for this project we need uh, the uh, form dot xml file is exist so here what i am doing here is i am just going to the root of this for uh, this project and if i see the form dot uh, xml this is very simple whatever the project uh, group id we have given what is the artifact id we have given and that that will be there now what we need to do is we need to analyze this this project source code and we need to get the report in the sonar cube server so first in order to do that first our sonar uh, sonar uh, cube server should be up so what we need to do is first we are going to up the sonar cube server so this is the sonar cube server where i have downloaded go to the inside the sonar cube and here you can see bin under this based on the operating system version you can find different folders in my computer i have a, a windows 64 bit so going inside of it and uh, in order to i i have copied this one to a uh, c drive so i need to run this command as a administrator once you come uh, come here go to 
copy this path navigate it to this path actually Read in. And paste it here once this is done now you need to enter the uh, now you need to start the server in order to start the server just to type start sonar dot bat now this is going to start the sonar cube server and uh, it takes few seconds to up once it is up you will receive that the service is up let us wait for few seconds let it get started now what happens is if you are if if you are going through this video as a first time then i just want to iterate uh, how exactly sonar cube works is first you are going to analyze the repo you, you you are going to analyze the code using the sonar scanner that scanner actually send the report to the server and server what it is going to do is it is going try to take that report and uh, it will actually uh, process the report and it will display the report to the sonar cube server where we are going to access localhost colon 9000 this is the actual process so by default it is going to have a h2 as a default database and we are going to use the same because this is for demo purpose but if you are re in the real time scenarios you can use your own database like a oracle or ms sql server 2005 or uh, postgres any database server you can configure it okay that uh, that explanation i have already provided in the previous session so let us wait for uh, till this uh, process comes up then i am going to show you how to run our maven command to analyze the project okay let it in the meantime let it run so another way what we, we uh, the next step is we need to go to this maven project and right click on that open a command prompt in the meantime i am going to clean the project first mvn clean this is going to clean the resources existing resources if any it is going to clean let us see whether the server is still it is coming up okay so this is done and then maven you can type install still it is not up okay so it is trying to download the required soft uh, required jars to proceed with this and uh, yeah this is yeah this is done and we the only one step is now what we need to do is we need to run our uh, sonar scanner so in order to run that first the sonar cube server should be up yeah just now the sonar cube server comes up process is up so now we can go ahead and run the command maven sonar colon sonar so this is the command you need to give to run the scanner that means the to run the sonar scanner through the maven this is the command now i entered sonar colon sonar now this is going to um, run the scanner and then what it is going to do is it is going to analyze the uh, it is going to anal uh, it will go to run the source code and try to analyze all the code and then it is going to send this report to the sonar cube server from there we can access it uh, it is trying to analyze and then it is going to send the report to the sonar cube server yeah if you see here two files indexed quality profile for java is sonar way and then one source file is there and finally see here what it is saying is note that you will able to access the updated dashboard once the server has processed the submit analysis report more about the report access http localhost 9000 api so what it is going to do is 
once you run the sonar scanner it is it has analyzed the all the source code and that report actually sent to the sonar cube server now this server will process that report and that report is available at the local host colon 9000 now what we go how we can access this http local host 9000 now here you can access the whatever the report uh, just now we have created so this is the uh, this is the project we have created for the maven project that is com.sonar.maven and uh, it is saying that technical depth as a 50 and last analysis time as a 21.53 so this is the current timestamp okay so this is the project just now we have created that is a maven project now go inside of this project then it is going to show you the what are the issues it found when in the analyzing the source code of it now technical depth it is saying 15 minutes and issues it is saying 3 go to the click on that uh, 3 and now it is going to show you the list of files where it has the problem if I go to the uh, sonar.app java and here it is saying like package package I intentionally given because it is also showing some error and next one it is saying like app and it is saying system.out.println is also having the problem if you highlighted on the uh, that um, uh, symbol here it, if you click here then it is saying like what is the issue it has replace the usage of system.out or the system error by the logger because in the real-time applications we always use the loggers instead of we never use the console statement so these are the some problems with the code it has analyzed and found it okay so this is how we need to analyze the source code using the maven as a sonar scanner in the next tutorial we are going to see how to um, how to work with the gradle as a sonar scanner and uh, later point of time i am going to explain how to exactly uh, resolve these issues or even sometimes what you can do is you can suppress some of these warnings if it may not be relevant to you okay so those things we have seen uh, we are going to see in the later tutorials hope you are clear with the concept how we are going to integrate the sonar scanner with the Mavin and how to analyze the project. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please comment on my YouTube video and do subscribe for more updates on the technical videos. Thank you so much.